Hey everyone, it's Phoebe here, and I have some great updates to share with you on our soft body. So let's dive on in and have some fun while we learn. Okay, so here I have my 3D window open, and I'm first just gonna walk you through how you can like turn on soft body and all of that, and the update. So originally, you could always turn on soft body as long as the avatar was rigged, meaning has a skeleton. But now what we've done is even if the avatar isn't rigged or it doesn't have a skeleton, you can now add in soft body to it. So here I have a avatar. I'm just gonna hide my uh, patterns. And this is not rigged at all. I can go over here to my toggle menu and I'll go to my avatar and then I'll see like show avatar joints and you'll see like there really isn't any. So I'll hide that again. And now what I can do is I can just select this avatar or OBJ and go into my property editor over here and turn on soft body simulation. Now that I have this on, I can play around with this slider and I can either make it really like plushy or I could increase it so it's really stiff. So the higher I go, the stiffer it is, the lower I go, the less stiff it is. I'm gonna have it pretty low. Now I'm just gonna hit simulate and you'll see in real time how this like started to bounce and like conform a bit and get like squishy and all of that. I'll show my, gar my pattern pieces now. To do that, I'm just gonna hit shift W that's the shortcut. I could also go into my toggle over in garment display and say show garment shift W. And what I can do here is I can just click on my pattern pieces and it'll start to like move in as you can kind of start to see. Like here, I can push this in and you'll start to see like my avatar also starts to get deformed and pushed in. If I hide this, you see like this moving. And moving around. So it's really cool. All the things it can do now. What's also really nice is if I select this avatar and I change the stiffness up, you'll see in real time how it's changing and it's getting stiffer, lower. It gets like, you see it dropping a little bit see it rising, dropping, rising, dropping, rising, dropping. Okay, so now we kind of understand how it works and all of that. Let's jump into how you could practically use it. So here I have my garment and I'm gonna bring in some shoulder pads. I'm also thinking this could be great for um, like bras. This could also be great for backpacks and all of that. I'm just going to show you the shoulder pad example because I created that OBJ and that it works well. So I'm going to go to file, import, add OBJ. One thing to know is if you're going to import uh, your OBJ, just make sure that it is a clean OBJ, there's no intersections and there's no holes. If you do have holes or intersections, then it will not work and the soft body won't be, like the soft body won't be possible. So here I'm just gonna select this and I'm first going to just make these a little bit smaller because this is a little bit too big. And then I'm just gonna move this over and start to place them where I want them to be. Nice. Now, before I even turn on any soft body, I'm just going to simulate and let my garment sit on this new OBJ and kind of like get all set up. Cool. And I'm going to hide the garment now, select the shoulder pads and turn on soft body. I'm going to keep this at 800 and simulate. As you can see, it's already simulated in there. If I select this and lower this down, 
I can then simulate. And it, the garment isn't like really putting much pressure on this. So you're not really gonna see that foam come like go down. But if I actively put pressure on this, you start to see it go down. And even spring back up. Now, some other things you can use with this, which is kind of cool, is you can use that avatar tape. So I could actually turn and turn on some avatar tape here. And then attach this. And then simulate. And you'll actually see it move and attach straight to that. Which is really cool. The tacking won't work, just FYI. But the avatar tape does. And you can see here how this is attached and all of that. I'm just going to detach it by again going to this avatar tape. Right clicking and detach. And then I can simulate. And then before we finish up, I just want to show you really quickly what will happen if I try to bring in an OBJ that doesn't have any, like that has some issues with its mesh. So if I go and I import add an OBJ, this last. And here this is. If I select this and turn on soft body and hit simulate, this warning is going to come up. And then all of these warnings will also come up telling you wait, that there is an open hole issue and a self intersection. I can hit OK. And going into my toggle menu again, I'll then hit show wireframe and then I'll actually see where these issues are. So like it's definitely right here and here. There's holes in all of that. So I would just have to go into my 3D modeling software and fix that mesh around so that then I could bring this in and have a proper soft body applied to it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, use that comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. There's so many great videos for you to watch and learn. And keep having fun in Clo. Thanks again.